Okay, so today is pretty cool. I'm currently on tour with Jesse Wilson this week, and we have a day off here in Chicago. Uh, the lake is right there. But I've never been to Chicago Music Exchange, and I've been wanting to go for years. So I just called an Uber. I'm gonna jump uptown and go spend some time at CME and see if I uh, can't play some cool stuff and maybe walk out with something cool. We'll see. I don't have a lot of money to spend after buying that fuzz pedal in London last week, but we'll see what's there. <laughs> and it was great talking to you. You too. Have a great one. All right. custom ordered without a pick guard um, and then at some point somebody had put like an F20 style guard on here um, somebody replaces with like a guild style bridge too wow. uh, but you normally only see these in the black finish yeah and this is the only natural one that you'll find natural and cherry back inside it's a 62 63. 63 it's the only year that you would have found the natural finish um, but yeah, you typically see them in the black finish, and for every one of these, there's 10 black ones out there. Right. Um, and the last one that we sold with a black finish in all original condition, which is way less rare than this, was about 20K. Okay. So because of the repairs and mods, we're asking eight for this one. So player grid. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. You want to check it out? Yeah, please, by all means, man. away a few years ago actually went to high school with the Everly brothers uh, in Tennessee and he has uh, his high school yearbook is signed by I think uh, Don or Phil Everly and uh, the story goes that when they graduated high school they asked my grandfather uh, to move to Nashville with them and manage them. He actually had a letter, I think my dad might have it now, but he has a letter that the Everly brothers wrote to my great grandmother asking her permission from my grandfather to, I think, quit school a year early to move to Nashville to manage them. Um, and of course she said no. <laughs> so it's cool to be playing this guitar. All right, so Carl here in the acoustic section just showed me this. So this is an Ernie Ball prototype acoustic. Look how thick this thing is. Never played a guitar this big before. This is Lebec's signature model. That is not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, this one's a beauty. This is a great player. It's 350. Wow. Yeah, this one's a good one. You should definitely, you should play this one. Okay. Wow. 
All right, this is it. So, <coughs> 1960. 335. That's that's like my uh, my holy grail right there. This is the best sounding guitar we have in the shop. But it's it was a custom order parallelogram 345 board, but obviously 335. And the ledger. What? Copy of the ledger. We actually had its sister at one point. One serial away. It's pretty wow. awesome. This one you absolutely have to plug. In. Okay. So this is exactly why I wanted to come down here. This is a 1960 ES335 uh, with a custom fretboard on it, the 345 blocks. This is my holy grail. Uh, I've never played a real 60. My 335 is a 2010 Memphis made 61 reissue and it's my goal in life to own a real 60, 61 similar to my my uh, 2010. So going through a Milkman, one of my favorite amps, just going straight in and um, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to check this out. speechless like I don't know what to say I can't uh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, for the record, I know I should have played that on the 335, but still. <laughs> Good. That that is one of the best instruments I've ever played. It's great. Yeah, man. I mean, it it is every bit as good as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's pretty outstanding. It's... Yeah, it was also part of the Chinnery collection as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so it's got it's got quite a bit of provenance. Somebody ordered this. Yeah. It's pretty, I've always loved parallelograms. I love that board on 345, yeah. but, um, yeah. Wow. Man. It's crazy. Some guys, we, uh, the one we had before, the sister to the, the one that was a serial, I think it was after, don't quote me on that, but had the uh, social security number of the original owner. Really? Right here, yeah. Because people would used to, do, they would do that in the old days. They'd put their social there or they'd etch their uh, initials right here. Wow. You know? That's cool. Isn't that pretty crazy? I might actually do that on mine when I get home. Why not? Why not, man? Yeah. That'd be cool. Pretty dope. Suck, cool. suck, suck. I think, why don't you just put it, every team sucks, you know? Instead of just, you know. You ever been there?